descending path towards consciousness evolution revolution. There are lots of benefits of exercise. One of them is the creation of new brain cells. Now, this is a process called neurogenesis or the birthing of new neurons. Most of these new neurons are created in an area of your brain called the hippocampus that's responsible for learning and memory. So these new neurons, they're not the same as the existing neurons in your brain, which at one point people were taught, you know, what you're born with is all you have the rest of your life. And let's say if you drink a beer, you lose like 500 brain cells and you'll never get those back. But now we know that through some practices, like for example, uh, prolonged exercise, the best kind of exercise would be like aerobic. Uh, the longer, the better. Uh, you create uh, essentially the stimulus that's necessary for your brain to want to create these new neurons. Now, the process of which that occurs, essentially, uh, your brain starts to release what's called BDNF, or brain-derived neurotrophic factor. And this uh, is known to create the new neurons. Now, what's interesting is, a lot of the new neurons that you create, about 80% of them actually die off. Now, I have certain ideas of my own as to how to retain as many of those neurons as possible. And that is, well, if you think about it and you compare it to like, let's say, laying down muscle tissue, the muscle, muscle tissue is basically going to build up along the lines of force of, let's say, if you're doing um, push-ups, you're going to lay it down along your pectoralis muscle or your chest muscle where it's needed, along the lines of force. Same with the brain, only now you're dealing with brain cells. And so what you'd like to do is combine exercise, the creating of these new neurons, which also, by the way, um, exercise helps you know bring more oxygen and blood and nutrients to your brain. So not only that, but then the stimulus of your, your muscles and ligaments causing uh, or taking in information from your environment, something called proprioception and mechanoreception. So you're, you're, you're having these nerves that are highly stimulated and they're sending all these signals up to your brain and you're essentially super saturating your brain with all of this information and it responds by creating new neurons. Now, these new neurons are different than your existing neurons in that they are more excitable. In other words, they have a lower action potential threshold. So it takes less stimulus for them to fire off than the existing neurons in your brain. So, you know, the, the exercises that are known to create these new neurons are, like I mentioned, you know, prolonged exercise, aerobic in nature. So um, while I would recommend more than 45 minutes, believe it or not, to create this sort of a environment in your brain so that you're creating these new neurons, but also it helps to combine your, your uh, practice of exercise to combine it with visualization of what it is that you want to uh, manifest or whatever goals you have. Combining the two, the creation of the new neurons and giving them a goal or direction to, to basically aim towards these new neurons, essentially will help you retain more of the neurons that you create. So in other words, instead of them just being created and then being pruned off, you're giving them a direction, you're giving them uh, something to do, and because they're brain cells, that's what's required in order for them to be kept around. Just like uh, doing more physical exercise will make your, your muscles stronger and faster. Well, it's the same, but only now we're dealing with the brain. And so there are other things that help create neurogenesis. Part of it is diet. Blueberries are known to, to help um, create neurogenesis. Also dark chocolate. Curcumin, especially combined with piperin from ground pepper, which makes it a thousand more times more effective, um, the curcumin. And 
But exercise is one of the most important um, ways to stimulate your brain to create these new neurons.